right, guys, even here in this video, we're gonna do a little prediction video about this upcoming New York Pro 2019. The event is scheduled for this Saturday, and I'm sure that most of you guys who are subscribed to my channel already know about this event, New York Pro. It is one of the most prestige bodybuilding competitions in the world right now, and it used to be known as the Night of Champions. Currently, the most prestige bodybuilding competition in the world is Mr. Olympia, the second one is considered to be Arnold Classic, and the third one would be the New York Pro. But the New York Pro, or the Night of Champions, how it was called back in the day, started in 1978. The winner was Robbie Robinson, although Arnold Classic started in 1989, so back in the day, before Arnold, New York Pro, or the Night of Champions, was considered to be second most prestige bodybuilding competition in the world. Anyways, this is the official list of competitors that you can check out right now, and these highlighted competitors are the ones, the most successful ones in the bodybuilding right now, and I will only consider them in my prediction. It's gonna be just the top five, so I'm not gonna cover the whole competition because I don't know most of these guys. Anyways, the question that everybody is asking is where is Nathan the Ash in this list? If he was on the list, he would be my pick for the win, but apparently he's not here. I know that that was his plan before, because he's not qualified for the Mr. Olympia yet. So he needed to qualify in order to compete at the Mr. Olympia. And there is only a couple of qualifiers left. There is Toronto Pro, Tampa Pro, Chicago Pro. And I don't know what is the reason for Nathan not competing this year, but it probably has something to do with that controversy about him being a drug dealer or a steroid dealer. I'm not sure what exactly happened right there, but maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe that's the reason why he can't leave the country right now. Anyways, Nathan is not on the list, so we're not gonna see him compete this year, unfortunately. So we are left with these guys. And I believe the top two is going to be Juan Diesel Morel and James Hollingshead. I believe that James is going to win this show. That's right. Back in the Brazil, Arm Classic Brazil, Juan did win because he was way more muscular than Rafael Brandao. But Juan had no legs and that hurt him quite a bit, but not enough for him to lose. And now he's competing against somebody who has a lot of muscle as well. To be honest, not as much as Juan. Juan is better from the waist above, but as far as legs and the lower body, he's nowhere near James. James has amazing legs, and that is the reason why he's going to win, because he's more complete. I would say that <laughs> Juan has way more developed back, way more developed arms, chest, every single thing on his body. He has even better muscle maturity, better conditioning. James is a young pro, he turned pro maybe two years ago or something like that. But because of his completeness and his great conditioning, he has great, great conditioning, he is going to end up victorious. And I'm looking forward to this competition because it's going to be awesome. And I'm sure this is going to be our top two. And I'm pretty sure that James is going to win it simply because of his completeness. So that's about it for top two. James first place. Juan Morel is going to take the second place, and the third place is going to be won by Justin Luis Rodriguez. This guy looked awesome at the Indy Pro. I believe that is his best shape ever. I don't like his stomach though, his stomach looks odd, but the rest of his body is looking awesome. He has a lot of muscle, great conditioning. And honestly, I thought that he's gonna place higher than Luke Sando at the Indy Pro. But he didn't, and he still showed an amazing package, and I believe that's gonna be good enough for the third spot. And as far as fourth spot, I believe that's going to be Milan Sadek, if that's how you pronounce his name. And he looks awesome. He has some amazing, amazing legs. He has great conditioning. He's very short, though. He's maybe better suited for 212. I don't know his weight, but he really does look great. And I believe that he's going to be a great top four competitor. And as far as fifth place, I will give this one to... Josh Wade, and many people compare him to Dorian Yates, but aside from facial resemblance, I don't see any other similarities as far as physique goes. I think that he is going to place fifth in this show. He competed at the Mr. Olympia though, so he's a great bodybuilder, but I don't think he will place higher than any of these other guys. So my pick for this competition to win it is James Hollingshead. He's one of my favorite bodybuilders of the day and mark my words, in a couple of years he's going to place at least top 3 the Mr. Olympia and I believe that one day in the future he's going to become the Mr. Olympia. He has all the tools necessary, he has the conditioning, very very good conditioning when it's needed, he has great symmetry, proportions, lines are there 
he doesn't lack any muscle in particular. He can improve all those and he's improving them constantly as for as long as I follow him. He's very, very, very diligent and super focused on bodybuilding. He's living it 24-7. Also, this guy trains like a maniac with very, very high intensity and low volume type of training, which is something I really like to see. It's very exciting and I believe that he's, this guy is going to be one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. But let's see first what happens in this New York Pro this Saturday. Anyways, you guys don't forget to tell me what you think about my prediction and tell me your prediction if you have one in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.